This has been by far the worst year of our life, but there's also been some amazing things that have happened. You know, we've learned that we have some really good friends. We live in an awesome community. Our kids go to an awesome school. There are agencies out there like Ramp that are, you never really know what their services are until you need them. And without all of those things, it'd be very easy to lose everything that you've worked for. July 1st, 2008. Bob and Jill Melnick are heading home after spending the evening watching their son's baseball game in Pearl City, Illinois. It's a calm summer night, perfect for a ride on their favorite toy, Bob's Harley Davidson. After all, rarely will you see Bob and Jill traveling together on anything but the motorcycle, especially on a perfect midsummer night. The sun had set and the wind was left behind as they drove off from the game leaving only the open road ahead, a winding country road lit only by a single headlight and a star-filled sky. It was an evening full of possibilities, and on this night, an evening full of danger. I slammed them on the brakes pretty hard, uh, locked them up, and uh, Got going extremely slow. I thought the deer was going another direction and it came back at me and tried to run me over. And uh, I do hit it. Um, I personally don't remember my wife jumping off the bike. Um, I don't remember hitting the deer myself either. Um, but things weren't good for either one of us after it happened. For the 20 years we've been together, he always told me to jump off the motorcycle if we were ever gonna hit something. So I listened to him. I jumped off, he went down with the deer, and as I was going through the air, I knew it wasn't going to be good for him, but I just somehow knew that I needed to make sure that I stayed conscious because we were out in the middle of nowhere. And about the time I was on the phone with the um, 911 operator, I heard Bobby started coughing, and so I knew he was somewhere around me, but I still couldn't find him. And then finally I saw him moving around, he was laying over by the motorcycle still on the road, which I was surprised because I expected to find him in the ditch. Bob suffered a traumatic brain injury that night and was airlifted to a Rockford hospital and then sent to a rehabilitation center in Chicago. The Melnick family struggled as Bob was in the hospital for weeks on end. Jill and their kids Tyler, Jared, and Kyle remained strong and prayed for Bob's recovery each and every day. In September, Bob was able to transition back home. It had been two months since the accident and Bob was still unable to recall words or structure sentences. Jill had to work full time to support the family, and staying home alone was not an option for Bob. He needed constant care. So I kind of knew a little bit about the services of RAMP, and I never thought I'd be one to need them. I just thought it was something out there for somebody else besides us. But it was really tough, and then, you know, to, to think that I had to find somebody to take care of them, you know, that was probably, who was I going to hire, who was I going to find, and were they going to take care of him and do what they needed to to do for him. You know, it's kind of like finding daycare for a kid almost. Very important. We're all about promoting independence. So the quicker we can meet with the individual and set up the services, especially with someone with a traumatic brain injury, the quicker we can get services in place, assist remarkably with their recovery. So within two days of the time that he had returned home, uh, I came to do the assessment to determine what services we could provide through the home services program and uh, met with Bob. We set up a goal to assist him to get back driving so he would be able to participate in a driving evaluation uh, to set up, hire, maintain a personal assistant and to then also participate in a neuropsych evaluation to determine what future goals we could uh, help him with. RAMP provided me with uh, so much information that I didn't know existed at the time. Um, if it wasn't for RAMP's getting my license back, uh, finding different ways to get it paid for, if it wasn't for RAMP's involvement, uh, it would have been many years before that would have happened. RAMP worked closely with the Melnick family to coordinate and provide all necessary services they needed to get Bob transitioned home and back on his feet. It was a team effort from the very start. Working with RAMP was great. Anything that we needed, um, you know, they said just ask. They tried their hardest to get everything that we needed, and I don't think they turned down one thing 
that we had asked for. Everybody communicated, we worked together as a team. Um, if they needed something, they knew what was best for Bob. And that was my goal in the end, was you know, whatever Bob needed was what Bob got. Working with Ramp, it just, it just kind of made everything go smoother. You know, it was a terrible time in our lives, the worst time we're ever going to have, I hope. And, and um, just the communication with everybody and, and working together, I think, has made Bob where he's at today. You know, be it, had he not had a strong group of friends, you know, doctors standing behind him, the people from Ramp, he probably wouldn't have come this far. It was extremely important for him to have a coordinated network of skilled caregivers in the rehab process. His family was very, very supportive and went to the effort to spend two hours a day on the road to bring him here. During that time, I was a facilitator and he was the one who healed himself because he always was the kind of person that understood that if you want to walk on water, you have to get out of the boat. He cooperated with everything that we did and he worked very, very hard independently. He ultimately relearned to read. He was writing a journal by the time he was discharged. He was doing all of the normal skills that he had lost along the way, like use of money, uh, use of a clock, understanding emergency protocol and how to use a telephone, having normal conversations, and ultimately was able to recover going back to work. Today, the Melnick family is stronger than ever. Bob would stop at nothing to get his speech back, to get his life back, and that's exactly what he did. With the support of RAP, Bob was provided the tools and assistance he needed to recover from this terrible tragedy and come out on top. He is a husband to Jill again and an active father with his boys. Bob is ready for any challenge that life can throw his way. With the support and encouragement from Ramp, he truly has learned that there are no limits to what he can do. You know, it's normal stuff. A normal person shape should be able to remember everything, and I couldn't. It's uh, uh, unbelievable, but uh, it's kind of like food now. There's still certain foods I can't remember the name of. Certain things I still can't remember exactly how to tell you, exactly how it's supposed to sound. Um, I've got my own thoughts, <laughs> but uh, a lot of times I don't talk quite the way I should. Um, but uh, for my head to recuperate from this ordeal, it's going to be five years. That's a long time. You, you never know when your life is going to change in a split second. And you know, ours did. Ours changed drastically. We were using services from Ramp that we never thought we would use. You know, Bob was born a healthy baby boy, and he grew up, and he's worked all of his life and worked hard. And we went from that to him laying in a hospital bed hanging on to his life to not being able to come home unless he had somebody to be with him and without ramp we would never be where we are today which is slowly getting back on our feet you know he's able to, to work and function just like he did before the accident <laughs>